Okay, this is so bizarre, Vicky. I'm really sorry, Doug, to keep you waiting so long. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> Finally, we're connected. Yeah, it, it's so bizarre. Everything was ringing. My phone was ringing, my iPad was ringing, but my computer wasn't. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. Well, there's nothing you can do about it. it just, I mean, you know, on the right hand side, you get the, the Google thing. It says you, I wasn't connected, and I'm sitting there saying, "Yes, I am." But anyway, um, all's well that ends well, right? Yeah. How are you? I'm fine, and you? It's great to have you. Oh, it's great to it's great to be asked. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much for accepting to do this. I know you're very, very busy. You do a lot of things. Well, I, I have grass to cut. That's the only thing on the agenda for this afternoon. Oh, great. Super. And how's the weather there? So it's springtime already. Uh, springtime. It's about 10 degrees. It was a little bit cool. We we were up to about 30 degrees a couple of days ago, and then it's just we had a big, big low system go through, and it just messed things up. So it's the same thing. Anyway, deal yeah. with it. Yeah. Oh great! I love your I love your background with all the books. Oh, thank that you very so much. Awesome. It's one of the two, actually three bookcases I have. Okay, yeah, mine is my bookcase is over there, and then all the rest are in the rack room. This is just my little uh, work area here, and all my ties are right there. Oh, uh -huh. your ties! Oh, my ties! Yes. <laughs> Super. So that's your working area. It's like your little office there, eh? Yeah, we um, we built an addition under the house and built this little nook into the area just so that we'd have a spot to do computer stuff. So mm -hmm. uh, that's where we are. Great. I'm really happy to have you because for many reasons, because we've collaborated so many times online. We've never met face to face, but I feel like we already have. And, mm -hmm. um, well, I'll let you say the rest. Can you tell us a few things about yourself? You do a lot of things. You're involved in a lot of things. Okay. Well, I walk the dog a lot. Um, uh, I, I, do a lot of, I do a lot of reading and uh, a lot of working with other people and um, really really enjoy doing that so uh, social media social media has been a great enabler for me mm -hmm. um through the various things that i'm involved with well um you have been involved in teaching technology so were you one of the first the early adopters of social media how did it happen that you got involved into it facebook twitter blog oh. and all that yeah um, I guess I would go back to when I was working with um, eLearning Ontario as the, the Dell for our region and our regional person, uh, Rod Lucier, would come down and he would always know what was going on. Yeah. And uh, we, we eventually talked about uh, how, how one gets to know and stay in touch with things and, and between the two of us we sort of jumped off the deep end into Twitter and starting our blogs and all this sort of stuff at the same time. Mm -hmm. And then uh, about the same time, I had a group of teachers with uh, our school district and we became part of the powerful learning practice. We put together a cohort and mm -hmm. uh, worked with a number of other teachers throughout the province of Ontario. And that really, uh, really took off for me and for a whole bunch of, uh, for all of the other people on our team. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned two really important things. I'll start with the first one. You mentioned blogging. Uh, one of the reasons I admire you is that you blog really often and you always have something new and something really interesting. Every time I read something, it's like, wow, how did he come up with that? How do you get all these ideas? You blog practically every day or every other day. How do you get all these ideas? Um, I try to blog every day, and mm -hmm. and it's so bizarre because I was not a strong English student. I hated writing in school and so on. I was big into the math and sciences, mm -hmm. um, but I but I learned in my job that you need to 
constantly be reading and staying on top of things and blogging is is just my way of uh, creating a journal to do things and and in the beginning I just blogged for myself in fact I've, I've got a couple of old blogs that were just essentially notes to me that that's why your your post the past week was kind of uh, interesting in itself and then somebody said well why don't you share these with other people so I did that and and you know I start to do it and uh, it's great I, I do try to blog almost every day and I really enjoy it now I wish I wish that I had learned to write as frequently as I do a long time ago because I think there was a lot of things that I've forgotten that I really wish I had put down and, and kept a record of. But what can you say? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I'm in complete awe of your blogging skills, really. And the, the second thing you mentioned was organizing events. As far as I know, you're um, involved in organizing a conference every year in Canada. <clears throat> yeah, we've um, there's actually been um, three conferences that I've been kind of heavily in. One was the um, Regional Computer Advisory Committee, and that was a conference that the tech coordinators for Southwestern Ontario put on for our superintendents and directors and principals and so on and I was involved with that for a long number of years. Mm -hmm. uh, last couple of years I have uh, shared the co-chair job with the with Cindy Jacobs, a good friend of mine with the Bring It Together conference which is provincially mm -hmm. and probably for about 10 years now I've been involved with the uh, Computer Science Teachers Association conference uh, devoted to computer science teachers, secondary school, uh, university, and it sort of moves all around uh, the United States. And this year we are in a little place called Grapevine, Texas, um, right outside of Dallas, Fort Worth, and very excited about that. I just booked my flight to get there the other day. Wow, fantastic. That's great. Um, I see a lot of Canadian educators um, very active on social media, they're blogging, they're uh, posting links and all that. Um, do you think this is a general thing? Are people there picking up on it and they're using social media more and more? What do you see? Do they use it in their teaching? Uh, some people do. <laughs> and I think a lot of a lot of the uh, the good bloggers, uh, the, the regular bloggers sort of blog for the same sort of reason that I do that in the online world if you don't have a presence the online world can be very US centric at least in our our point of view and um, you know really good American educators talking about uh, American issues and they're not quite the same as Canadian issues and so I think it's really important that Canadian and in my case, uh, Ontario educators get in there and talk about things that are going on with our curriculum and our schools and our teaching and not just assume that something that we read online is directly applicable. Mm -hmm. um, what, would you, what would you say are the most important topics right now in Canadian education? Because I see a lot uh, being posted about teachers striking and what are what are the challenges? What are the most important issues right now? Well, the the, the big issue in Ontario is that uh, elementary and secondary school teachers have been without a collective agreement for quite some time now, mm -hmm. and it's they they've gone at the last um, sort of revision to the collective bargaining. They've gone to a two tier system where. Uh, certain issues are negotiated provincially and then other issues are no negotiated at the local level and right now they're sort of bogged down all over the place uh, secondary school teachers are five or six districts either on strike or working to rule uh, at the public secondary level and at the public elementary level all of the teachers are currently involved with a work for real situation so it's not a pleasant thing uh, if you, you know, do a search for OSSTF which is the Ontario Secondary School Teachers Federation or ETFO the Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario you'll find that there's a lot of people 
uh, really concerned, having strong opinions about uh, the way things are going in, in in both panels. It's it's not pleasant for them at this point in time. Yeah, I follow both of them on Twitter, and I hope a solution is found soon. Yes, they're they're, they're currently looking. Uh, they're in fact. As of this afternoon, they are currently looking at the situation in the secondary schools that are on strike as to whether or not the student's academic year is going to be in um, jeopardy and whether there needs to be legislation brought in to force the teachers to go back and finish out the year. So, you know, that's, that's not good for everybody. Yeah, let's hope something happens and something happens soon because it's not good for anyone, like you said. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, moving on to something more positive. Uh, what do good. you enjoy about social media and engaging with other teachers? Because you do it a lot. But get, yeah, um, what gets me is, I always said when I, I was a computer science teacher, I always said that being a computer science teacher is the loneliest job that there is because in the secondary school you're probably the only person uh, teaching computer science you know and who do you talk to in the staff room and social media has been a great release for that in the fact that you can just get online follow certain individuals and they're talking about computer science and and away you go and that sort of logic is filled out to everybody that you can reach out no matter what age of child that you're teaching or what discipline or what subject area and you can just take off with that and make connections all over the place and I you know while on the topic I, I've got to say that I one of the real joys has been connecting with people like you and so many of your friends and I, I don't want to uh, mess up their names <laughs> because a lot of them are tend to have very freakish names and, and a lot of syllables and letters in them. But what amazes me is the network that you you people have forged in Europe, um, and the communications and the and the ideas that are constantly going by on a, a regular basis. It just sort of blows me away. And I think it's a model for educators everywhere who are looking to make the connection and grow in their profession to. You know, just make that connection and do what you're doing. I mean, every time I sit down and, and get on Facebook, uh, there's a whole group of you that seem to be off on a conference somewhere and you, you get together and you're sharing ideas and all that sort of stuff. It's absolutely amazing. So, you know, kudos to you and your friends that are continuing to do that. I think that is probably one of the best examples of professional learning I can think of. Thank you so much, and it's a pleasure for me to be connected with you too. And if somebody had told me ten years ago that I'd be involved in all this, that I'd be connected with uh, teachers all over the world, and we'd be meeting at conferences and exchanging uh, knowledge, and I'd be learning with them, I would not have believed them. Really, it's it's absolutely amazing what doors have opened. Um, what learning we're, we've been doing, a different kind of learning, and it's absolutely amazing. And I truly learn from you every single day, either from something you post on Twitter or something you write on your blog or something you've helped me with. And speaking of helping me with, I'll, I have to thank you publicly for flipping my blog challenge. You made a flip book of it. It's absolutely amazing, and thank you so much for that. You just went and did it. I'm so grateful for it. Oops, I think we lost the Doug. I'm not sure I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can't hear you right now, but these things happen. I haven't pressed anything here. We're just waiting for Doug to come back. No problem. I can see you, but I can't hear you. But if you like, we can do two parts of an interview, <laughs> two videos.
I can't hear you now, yeah. Or I can just, I can stop the call here and I can call you again. Because these things happen with technology. Shall we do that? Okay, I'll hang up and I'll call you again. Two-part interview coming up.